A deaf puppy dumped alongside a Portage County Highway is in high demand tonight. The story of Kara, an adorable Jack Russell Terrier mix, continues to touch our community. New at 6, News Channel 5's Bob Jones tells us there's no shortage of people who want to give this pup a new home. What about kind of pets? How can I help you? An estimated 800 callers have asked questions about Kara. Uh, she's actually a Jack Russell Terrier mix. Aww. Likely the most popular puppy in she's, Ohio. She's still available for adoption. Um, we're accepting applications at this time. We first met her last month after a callous person left the adorable puppy out in the cold in a shoebox next to a Brimfield Township highway. She had a hairline fracture in a front leg, open wounds, and she's <laughs> deaf. Now all sorts of people like Angie Wise are flocking to one-of-a-kind pet rescue. It just pulled at my heartstrings, uh, got a little tear in my eye. Many feel they can provide the perfect home for the nine-week-old puppy. Angie feels a connection because she's a sign language interpreter and says dogs can learn too. No, yes, a uh, good girl, outside, eat. Portage County Officer Ann Spar fostered the Jack Russell Terrier mix for one night. She's a sweet girl. She was, she's just a sweet girl. And then hooked her up with one of a kind. I just hope she gets the best home possible. Um, maybe a home with some other dogs or kids to give her the love that she deserves. To think that this puppy was disposable by somebody or to somebody is, is just not, it's unfathomable to us. Georgette Thomas says dozens of people are filling out applications hoping to adopt Kara. We will want her to go to a home where there are other dogs because dogs learn from dogs and she'll mimic good behavior. The hope is the playful puppy will find a new home within a week. On your side in Akron, Bob Jones, News Channel 5. Oh, well, Brimfield Police Chief David Oliver says animal cruelty charges will be filed if the person who dumped the puppy is identified. Oliver says officers do have some potential leads.